What are the fertility and family planning issues that a young woman diagnosed with early stage breast cancer should consider? That's a very important question and we hear this all the time from women who were premenopausal. I often separate in two major groups. One is the young premenopausal, such as women who are age 35 and younger. Many of these patients will be offered chemotherapy, but it's important to remember that most of them, even if they stop menstruating for a while, will ultimately resume menses and most will remain fertile. This is quite important because a lot of women young women will be diagnosed with ER positive breast cancer and will be offered endocrine therapy such as tamoxifen. And there is some evidence to suggest that the duration of tamoxifen is quite important and that they should consider staying on tamoxifen for five years. And while on tamoxifen we would urge them to practice safe contraceptive measures and avoid getting pregnant. Having said that, as most patients will remain fertile and may still consider the option of getting pregnant later on. And for those patients who do get pregnant, there is no evidence today to suggest that they now would have a higher risk of breast cancer recurrence. The second group of patients to think about is the older premenopausal uh, group of patients, such as those over the age of 35. These patients were more likely to stop menstruating and potentially go into menopause uh, after receiving adjuvant chemotherapy. However, these patients could potentially still get pregnant even in the absence of regular menses. And therefore, it is important that they practice safe contraceptive measures such as barrier uh, methods. Uh, also, for those who regain menses, it's quite common to see them ultimately starting menopause uh, two years earlier on average than the, uh, they otherwise would if they had not received chemotherapy. I guess the most important message for all premenopausal women who are given a new diagnosis of breast cancer is that they should have a conversation early on with their cancer specialist and discuss their family planning and their wishes so that, if necessary, an appropriate referral to a fertility specialist could take place.